Hello Cinema Tech Geeks, this is James Gardner here with another episode and today we're going to talk about SMPTE DCPs. Now what are they? Well today everyone who's using a DCO player most likely are using MPEG Interop DCPs. Uh, those were, that was the first uh, iteration of the, of the DCP and of course it was mainly um, revolves around 24 frames a second and fulfilling the need to replace film into a digital format. Well, eventually um, the bodies involved, um, the DCI committee and the ISDCF, etc., um, wanted to formalise this, these standards a bit more and um, pushed it into the SMPTE committees and, and uh, had it looked at, and a number of changes were made uh, and, and to, to improve it greatly. And, and in this video I want to talk about today what those changes are and how they would affect you as a, as a cinema operator doing digital cinema. The, the specific and most important change, of course, is support for more frame rates. 24 frames a second is nice, but there's a lot of content made in other frame rates around the world, uh, 25 and 30, of course, being the predominant ones. Um, so SMPTE DCP takes uh, into account those frame rates. It also takes into account um, higher frame, rate, frame rates, like 50 and 60 frames a second. Um, also... Uh, 2D and 3D at 30 frame rates and below are also supported. So what does this mean? Why is this important? Well, as uh, if you are a, a cinema which does a lot of festivals or plans to, sh to show content which wasn't idea initially um, wasn't initially thought of was going to film or going to a 24 frame a second format, um, this is an important thing because for example, the reason I, I decided to do a, do this topic today was that I, I was looking at a, there was a, fif, a nice short film out from a company called Zucudo, and they make con, um, devices for DSLR equipment, and they uh, do just a promotional video where they, they do uh, a comparison of lots of different cameras with film and try and be completely impartial and give a very good indication of how that sort of technology is, is coming along and how it's going to affect filmmakers and in what shape or form etc. It's a really nice video and I wanted to bring it to Australia as the highest quality and show it on a digital screen because you can't really see the difference unless you see it on, on something that big and that clean and with that sort of good colour. But that was done in 30 frames a second. And converting from 30 to 24, those pans just looked terrible. I just couldn't stand looking at it. So this made me to think, oh, the SMPTE is coming along. Let's have a look where it's at. And it is coming along quite well. And, th and supposedly, according to the ISDCF time frame, we should, all be prob we should all be using it by about April in 2020. 2011. Um, most of our servers should be updated by then. A number of us of the SMS manufacturers have already got uh, some sort of support or beta versions of the of the format. So, as a as a cinema doing festivals, um, if that sort of non 24 frame a second content is coming in, um, support for SMPTE um, DCPs will make that content look better than it has before because you can play it in its actual um, the frame rate that it was created on created in so that's an important development and one of the big pluses as a cinema owner and going to the SMPTE DCP there's quite a lot of other changes as well um, the the whether audio channels are put in the DCP um, how the captioning is is formed in the DCP um, a lot of under the hood changes to do with the XML metadata which at the end of the day as a cinema operator you probably won't even know or get to know about or, or, or affect you in any particular way but as a, as, a, as a company that may produce DCPs it is something you should probably know about and to, to take advantage of the new features and uh, uh, capabilities of the SMPTE DCP. So keep that in mind and look out for it and um, expect um, software upgrades on, on your SMSs. And before I go, um, investigating this, I need to talk about what currently supports the DCP or the SMPTE DCP. I've got um, three SMSs in my test lab. I've got a Doremi, a GDC and a, uh, and a Cube. Uh, the Cube and the GDC are based on what's called an AJA um, 
card and unfortunately they will not be able to support anything above 25 frames a second for the time being. Um, their roadmap is specifically to concentrate on the next generation of SMS which is mostly for the Series 2 projectors and the internal media block where that secure part of the of the card actually doesn't live into the server anymore it's been moved into the projector. Um, so those new new um, SM, um, media blocks should support everything up to uh, hopefully 60 frames a second you know 60 uh, I'll put a list up on the screen so you can have a look at uh, what a lot of uh, what the frame rates should be so um, luckily though those with Dore Mies are in a little bit better condition those those players are off the shelf now that what you should have now are capable of up to 30 frames a second but not 50 or 60 but that pretty much answers most of the needs of anyone who was doing festival or, or planning to do um, DCP content from from uh, typical sources coming from around the world. The higher frame rates that we're talking about 50 and 60 is, is very interesting and I'm very keen and I suppose many of you will be to see how that affects the production of films. Um, a lot of people think that uh, apart from 3D, 60 frames a second or higher frame rates will give a more re realistic look but that's something that we need to see I suppose and I'm dying to see how that looks uh, on screen when it's available and I've actually had someone produce it properly and just not shoot something with a uh, with a home video camera that's at 60 frames we need something shot properly so that'll be an interesting development too when those products come along but for now um, Doremi would be the better selection GDC and Cube hopefully will implement that at a later date but at the moment it's not on the on the boards I know they will have their, their series 2 there so if, if you need that and you're on that product type of range um, trying to get the new generation SMS when they come available in April around probably April next year as well so uh, there we go that's the Simti DCP and it, it has a decent it's going to uh, have a big effect on the industry uh, and you should keep an eye out for it so that's James Gardner for Cinetech Geek and I'll see you next time